Today we are going to continue with the series concerning the Father. Last week we say Happy Father's Day and to do a recap in part one we were meditating on the Lord's Prayer and uh, and Jesus taught the disciples how to pray. And uh, but in Matthew 6, verse 13, we see that part and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the Lord said, Don't go into that part yet. In part one, do a part two with that portion of the prayer. So we see the Lord can be, the Lord God Almighty can tempt us. He said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. God is also a deliverer. As fathers, we can tempt our children and also we can deliver our children. He said, deliver us from the evil one. To do a recap of the Lord's prayer, the Lord, the Lord Jesus wants us to, to see that we have an heavenly father. He said, our Father in heaven. So we have a Father in heaven. And he said, Hallowed be your name. The name of the Father is a name to be hallowed. When you are a Father, suddenly you, your name will be honored. And we see in Exodus, one of the commandments, the Lord tells us, to obey our father and our mother. And really, you, it will, you will not have a father without a mother. So he said, honor your father and your mother. And we see, he said, your kingdom come. And a father is like a king. You know, he's the king of his domain. And guess what? your kingdom you are in charge of a kingdom and whether you like it or not or not your will will be done <laughs> amen a father is a man of will and we say that the father is a provider and the father is a forgiver but in verse 13 we see two characteristics of the Father. And the Lord Jesus said to me, this is the most dangerous part. A father can lead his children to temptation. And we see that on earth. When you ask a child, he said, where do you learn this? He said, I learned that from my father. And usually if it's a bad thing, they said, you know, uh, this is the seed of so-and-so. He used to do that. And I'm not surprised that the, 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 the children or the son or the daughter is doing that. A father can be a tempter. Can, you know, lead the children. You are there to provide guidance. Sometimes God will understand can allow us to be exposed to something just to see how we react. The same way, if we say to, to a child, you see that candy over here, I don't want you to eat it. But you put the candy in front of the kid, the kid will wait until you turn around to grab it. But, but in the prayer, Jesus said, tell the Father not to tempt us, not to tempt us, but deliver us from the evil one. So a father is a deliverer, a savior. But he said, deliver us from the evil one. 
And, and you know, we can remember that. As a child, we bring a friend in, in, in the house, and the father said, I don't like this kid. For you to hang out with this kid is a bad kid. What, what you think your father is doing? He tried to deliver you from the evil one. He said, This, among all your friends, this is an evil one. But we see God delivering us from the evil, evil one, the devil. And give us good guidance so we may be spared from the devil. And we are in the month of Sivan. When we reach Sivan, this is when God come, come down from heaven to give the Torah to Moses. You must remember that. Imagine in the month that we are celebrating Father's Day, and this is the month when God come down. Come down and give us. A father should be able to instruct his children. And God came down to instruct us and give us the Torah and give us in which we have the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments, a guidance and said, you, you, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. Amen? But the part that really, you see, a father can be a tempter, a father can be a protector. We are there to protect our children. And this is what God is doing every day, protecting us. One of the greatest revelations that I received, that I received, if it wasn't for God, the devil will kill us already. God is protecting us daily. And in the Lord's prayer, I said, protect, protect us from the evil one. Something that we see as fathers on earth, earthly fathers, we, we tend to go into battle for our children. Put to protect them. We go, we go to war for our children. We want to fight. We know all the fathers are not the same. And we know that. And we have reports of children saying, I have a bad father. I had to leave the house at the age of 14, 16. Because, because of what the father was a bad example. This is when you see a father can be a good and a bad example for his children. You know, the, a father can be there totally passive and let the devil uh, run his house or allow the children to get involved in things without stopping them. So as we are celebrating Father's Day, and this is the month of the father, we are reminded also of these two characteristics. And the Lord put it in one sentence. Lead us not into temptation. That's when God can lead you into temptation. And we see Jesus said he was led to the mountain to be tempted by the devil. Jesus was led to the mount mountain to be tempted by the devil. Sometimes God can lead you to a place that you say, how did I get there? How? I find myself falling into that scene, into that situation. God lead you there to see how you will react, to expose you and say, you are not strong enough. You are not strong enough. As earthly fathers, sometimes we, we, we tend to, to do that and said, okay, let me see. For all my teaching, let me see if this kid get it. And this is a big problem. And you find yourself also being guilty and said, you were not prepared for this song. You were not prepared. You need some more training. But Jesus also, and we, I remember when Jesus was being beaten, stabbed, particularly 
disrespected. Jesus said, if it wasn't the will of the Father to allow that to happen, I could kill all of you. So the Father's will, when we enter into meditation and seeing the Lord's prayer, there are a lot of things that we see. We can, and, and sometimes we see children on Father's Day, they're crying, I never have the, a father, but you don't know why. God allow your mother to raise you without a father. Yes. Imagine a mother was away. You don't want to rape peace around your child and said, you know what? I was raped. I'm raising that kid. Because a father can be a bad influence too. Can be a bad influence, can lead kid into temptation. They said, you know, I am I have a child. I'm like God. I'm like God. You know, and and we see a lot of reports sometimes. They caught a father and his son robbing a place. He said, Man, how can a father? You know, practically hire his own son, flesh and blood. And, and a story in New York where a father, he was gang banging with his dating old son and the, the, the kid gets shot. Because he was a bad influence, he led his, his son to a temptation. Because the kid, you know, he's a kid, you know. Oh yeah, I'm hanging out with my father. It's fun. Let's do this. Let's do that. But Jesus is telling us: always ask God, please, 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 do not expose me, because God can expose you, you know, to see, to see how, how you see. But as we are thinking about the father, we cannot forget Father Abraham. When God said, okay, I'm going to make you a father, but not only a father, because he, he couldn't have kids and all that. He said, you will be also the father of many nations. And as we are thinking, as a church, as a body, and we are celebrating fathers, we must have a greater vision because God is a father of many nations. When God gave that blessing to Abraham, it's like, Abraham, I'm going to make you like me. Because sometimes we are small-minded. We say, you know what? I have this for me and my family. I'm working hard for me and my family. But God wants us to have nation in mind. He said, you are going to be the father of many nations. Let, let, let's go to Genesis 17 verse 4. Let's start the reading with verse 4. Genesis 17. Because if we are Christian, we are Abraham's seed. So the blessing of Abraham is ours. So Christian fathers, you must see yourself as little Abraham a father of many nations. He said, as for me, this is my covenant with you. They said, God said, when God appeared to Abraham and, and going to pronounce that, that fatherhood covenant on him, Abraham fell face down. Yeah, verse 3. Abraham fell face down. That means you are going to get something big here. You are going to get something big here. And God said to him, as for me, it is God speaking. This is my covenant with you, Abraham. You will be the father of many nations. So you see yourself, you are a Christian and you are a father. And your vision is for that little nucleus, little kingdom, your little household. But God said, you are a Christian, you are a Abraham seed. You are a, a father of many nations. Of many nations. Not only your little community, but nations. This is why it's dangerous in the church. We see many nations come to the church. And the pastor, or the priest, or the apostle get a little puffed off because they see this covenant. I am like a father of many nations. 
I have a son here, I have Jamaican here, I have uh, somebody from England, somebody from Ethiopia, I am the father of many nations. This is the vision, that God is a father of many nations, and God wants us to be a father of many nations. He said, no longer you will be called Abraham. Your name will be Abraham. When you give birth to a child, you have your first son, your first daughter. Guess what? As a single guy, you are Abraham. As soon you have a child, you become Abraham. You become Abraham. A father is an Abraham. A name to be allowed. A name to be honored. You are the king of your kingdom. You are a man of will. You are a, 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 a provider. You are a forgiver. But also, there are two things you must be careful of. You are also a tempter. You can guide your children to do good or to do bad. Be careful with that. But God wants you to be a deliverer, a protector. He said, for I have made you a father of... He said, no longer your name, you will be called Abraham. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. He repeat that again. I will make you very fruitful and I will make nations of you and kings will come from you. I will establish you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come. Why I read all this to you? When you have a child, you see that little child. But this child is going to have also children. And you can see your legacy going from generation to generation. Multiplying. Nations will come out of you. Yes, now we see something extraordinary that is happening in the world now. We see, you know, this person can be can be Jamaican and have a kid with a German. And, you know, nations being birthed every day. You are a father. When God chose you to be a father. Could, now we see fatherhood is rejected. People don't want to have children anymore. Men reject the, their way. This is something hallowed. This is a secret calling. You know, as we are celebrating, celebrating fathers, you know, this is the time to encourage the fathers to, for them to understand. They represent God. God is our father. You represent God in the family. And as the God of your family, you must model yourself to your heavenly father. But in the Lord's prayer, what you see, the Lord said, always ask God not to tempt us. You imagine your, your children come to you and say, no, Father, I know, I know. Uh, you know, you treat me the other day. Don't treat me again. <laughs> Do not lead me into temptation. If you see I'm in trouble, can you come and deliver me? You know, this type of prayer will touch the heart of God. And God will say, although I have the will, to show you the bad way <laughs> and, and lead you to where you can be in trouble. But guess what? I will protect you. I will deliver you. My brothers and sisters that are listening, this is the time that we are reminded that God is our Father. Not only Jesus lay claim to, to the Father, to God as his Father, we must, as Christians, declare that we also have a Father in heaven. And as fathers, let us model ourselves to our Heavenly Father. Be a blessing.
be a good father. I say this thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.